ask you as far as uh, the winning Super Bowl 50, and then also on that team, they, there's what, at least three CSU Rams, right? You had Ty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, Ty, me, and, and Shaq. And Shaq. Yeah. Well, how was uh how was it just winning the Super Bowl? Because, like, I mean, that's some every football player yeah. dreams of as a kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I love that Super Bowl, bro. I was salty. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. Definitely want I and that's really what was driving me is that I really wanted to um play in another Super Bowl just so I can really leave my imprint on that game the way right. I I really wanted to. I will say this though, um from being on a team my rookie year, cuz we won it my second year. Hmm. We lost to the Colts my first year and I also Everyone seen that, yeah. yeah, I saw how our team dynamic and how it flipped. You know, my first rookie, year, I remember I got in nine fights my rookie year. You know what I'm saying? It was like really like, it was a doggy dog world out there, bro. Like playing for the Broncos, bro. You, all those personalities. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We had a key to lead T.J. Ward, yeah. and Demarcus Ware, Von Miller, Danny Trevathan, Brandon Marshall, Chris Harris, Bradley Roby. You know what I'm saying? All these guys is bona fide fucking dogs, bro. Right, right. Bona fide fucking dogs. Then you go to the offensive side. We got four Hall of Famers. You know what I'm saying? Potentially. Emmanuel Sanders, Demarius Thomas, Julius Thomas, Payne Manning, Wes Welker, and Louis Vasquez. We got Ryan uh, Clady. We had CJ oh, Anderson. Anderson, Ronnie Hillman. and just like, you know what I'm saying? Like we just had a great group of people and it was so many strong ass personalities. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that first year did not work out. Was was fighting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we in practice He's just throwing hands. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just nonstop fights, bro. People was disrespecting the shit out of each other. Then, I, for some odd reason, that second year came around, you know, and this why I knew we were going to be great because my second year I got into one fight. Previously, the year before I got into nine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I knew we had broken down that wall of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, boom, boom. everybody walking around like, blah, 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 blah. you know what I'm saying? Everybody kind of just start getting more on the same wave and that same type of mode. Like, are right, we here for the same shit? We all actually do f each other. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not none of that. And then we went through some hard times, lost to the coach after being the number one seed. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? After a bye week, like it was like, all right, everybody got to chill this shit out. Everybody got to come together and meet, you know what I'm saying? Or oh, this shit wasn't going to work. <laughs> But going into that second year, you know, and I like, I'm gonna say this. I do. Lo I I love my name. You know, what I'm saying I love. I love the name Capri. You know, what I'm saying I looked it up in Hebrew. It means the God of Sun. You know, what I'm saying, and and it only refers back to my name, my date of birth, and the star that I was born on through the Hebrew scripture. So literally, my name and my existence on this planet literally means the God of Sun in Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I actually figured that out. And then I realized also, like, damn, like a lot of that second year, I was, I played a lot, you know what I'm saying? But the role that I really played on that team was with the players. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really played a strong role with, like, I knew everybody in the locker room. I spent a lot of time with everybody in the locker room. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a naturally social person. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I can listen to people speak, you know what I'm saying, and make them laugh, whatever, but like mainly I'm a great listener, you know what I'm saying? So that became a thing, like where we all just started getting real tight, you know what I'm saying? I would, we were bringing players together. We started Epernay. Yeah, I don't know if you remember that club that was in Denver. But, there were so many. I was young at that point. Yeah, you know, young ass. Players. But Epernay, yeah. Epernay at the time, bro, was the hottest club in Denver, bro. Me and my best friend, Benny Fowler, started that club, bro. Oh, it was okay. Me and him used to go in there when it was four people in that mocha, and it was an old man, old lady in there, you know what I'm saying? And it was just me and him going there. We'd probably bring a couple little things in there, and we'd go through, kick it, and we started getting close with the owners and shit. So they started um, letting us make our own drinks and shit at the bar because there was nobody else in there. But then the whole city started catching wind that we was going there. It was because players were coming to us and shit, I was on practice squad a lot. You know what I'm saying? So I knew where yeah. to go. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm like, shit, we going right over here to Epine. You know what I'm saying? They give us free drinks. Blah, 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 boom, boom. And shit, and the whole club bars. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a whole dance floor, everything. There don't be nobody in there. Bring a couple yeah. girls through. You know what I'm saying? Like, we having a blast. And we started doing that. I think we did it two, three times after we started letting teammates know. And, bro, before you knew it, bro, the line was around the block. Like, you couldn't even, yeah. like, walk through that. So, like, 
and then our players start using that as like our place where we like you know what I'm saying like it was Von House Epernay you know what I'm saying that was really in Jean I remember the the this little restaurant right, uh, right there in Greenwood Village called mm -hmm. Jean okay. and that was our three spots but Von House being the most prominent yeah, <laughs> like yeah. But yeah, we had that shit. We it was like we spent so much time in building that chemistry together. So by the time all that Super Bowl shit had came out and it was time, couldn't no, when nobody f with us. And then you f one of our brothers, we was over with for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we was ride, we ride or die. For sure, we sometimes even getting arguments and that boom, boom. And I love that about our team too. That second year, because even when there was arguments about to happen, people on before when we used to just let the fights happen. Like, oh, I'll let them fight, let them go at it. Like, yeah. nah, we literally, it'd be like, oh, bro, come on. Like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, boom, we both know how both of y'all get down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We yeah. both know how both y'all get down. Y'all just hot right now. Like, chill that shit out. Oh, okay, boom. Next thing you know, next day, these motherfuckers sitting at breakfast table eating together and shit. Bro. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> like, yeah, shit never let y'all fall. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm glad we didn't let you. So, yeah, that fucking Super Bowl year was special because it was really all about chemistry. It wasn't about talent. And that's when I started noticing that this game is really built around that so I even took that and implemented that on other teams that I went to even like when I went to the Packers I used to take the team bowling every Tuesday That's start dope, buying the sweets at the Milwaukee Bucks games and shit just so we can spend more time together we was in the middle of fucking nowhere you know right, what I'm saying yeah. so I was just trying to do the best I can to like build chemistry amongst our teammates you know because I knew that's ultimately like what any team is missing you right, know what I'm right, saying right. like anybody start feeling like they alone out there or like people ain't gonna have your back or you don't know this dude well enough. You know him just enough because you're just around. Like, no, nah, go have a drink with him. Go, you know what I'm saying? Kick it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe y'all two man some shit with some bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, see how motherfuckers laugh. Kick it. Like, you know what I mean? So everything that they say doesn't sound like a gunshot. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know where they're really coming from. Because this is from Alabama, Texas, California, but blah, 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 don't even talk the same. Use the same lingo. Right. So it's best like you get all that lingo shit out the way, all everything out the way, so you know. From playing with you you know what i'm saying or anything you know what i'm saying or they really don't mean harm by the word they saying but they really trying to let you know and it just may come out a little tough you know what i'm saying like oh, yeah. oh he really don't mean no harm when he's saying that like you know what i'm saying he really just trying to say this you know what i'm saying boom, boom in your terminology you know what i'm saying that right, shit right. that'll make a motherfucker fight a motherfucker that if they not from there like if you call of go to florida and say boy you know what i'm saying thinking that they like saying it is a term of endearment right. no they out there you call somebody a <laughs> out there shoot you in your face right. you know what i'm saying if you go say that shit in chicago he's gonna laugh it off right. you know what i'm right. saying <laughs> like it's different you know what i'm saying so yeah it's different demographics different people play different places people live so it was a big thing that we got that chemistry thing along so Hell yeah, yeah.